If you're walking through the shallow waters of Southeast Asia, you may step on one of the world's most venomous fish. A stealthy hunter that can change the color of its skin to perfectly match the reef around it, and can sting you even two days after it's dead. I'm talking about the scorpion fish, and tonight I'm hopping into the ocean to catch one to not only show you its deadly abilities, but to be one of the first people to film a newly discovered trait of this fish, glowing neon in black light, even more so than the arachnid it's named after. This isn't the only venomous fish that lives here. I've already covered the swarms of striped eel catfish that patrol the shallows, and the opioid-injecting bite of the fang blenny. But the scorpion fish by far has the most brutal venom out of them all, with some really bizarre effects that I can't wait to tell you about. But first things first, I have to catch one. Now I could pretend like I'm some animal catching prodigy and caught one the first time I went out there, but in all honesty, this fish was giving me some problems. I saw one the very first night I went snorkeling, but of course I didn't have a net with me. I saw another the next night, but it was when I was walking back with the world's deadliest sea urchin already occupying my tank, so I had to give up on that one as well. It is now my last day on the Philippine coast, and my last chance to catch one. So no matter what I find in this ocean, I have to ignore it and hold out for a scorpion fish. I see so many cool aquatic creatures, but I had to swipe left on them all so I could focus on my target. But of course, nature hits me with a loophole. I find a different kind of scorpion fish. One that's a lot less dangerous, but is still so cool that I have to pause my quest and show you guys what I found. A gorgeous zebra lionfish. All right, we got him set up with the light, our first venomous animal of the evening. Look at that amazing little lionfish. Now, you may hear these guys and get a bad taste in your mouth because you think they're an invasive species, but that's the case in the US and some other places. But here in Asia, that is a completely native fish and a truly beautiful one. This is my first lionfish I've ever seen in person. I kind of always assumed they were like floating around, but this guy's really just sitting on the bottom, really a sit and wait predator. And man, the colors, his fins, that is just a truly, truly cool fish. The scorpion fish family includes lionfish, the classic scorpion fish like the one I'm looking for, and the deadliest fish species on earth, the stonefish. All of these guys inject venom through their dorsal fins into anything that tries to eat them, or accidentally steps on them. No human deaths have been attributed to a lionfish, but a sting from the sky would still be incredibly painful. However, its venom doesn't hold a candle to the fish I'm looking for tonight. My search into the black void of the ocean continues, and the camouflage of the scorpion fish is really starting to do me dirty. Not only do they change color to match the surrounding rocks, but they also do it depending on their mood, which is most likely unbridled hatred towards me and my time. It was looking like I would have to admit defeat, but finally, out of what felt like pure pity, a scorpion fish revealed itself. Did I film it underwater? Of course not, because I didn't press the record button hard enough, and when I turned it off, it just started filming me walking out of the water. But ignoring that, I scooped it up in the net, and sure enough, I finally had my scorpion fish. Oh my goodness, that was such a hard fish to find. These things are camouflaged like crazy. But let me put him in here. I have finally got myself a scorpion fish. He is the perfect size for this tank. There we go. Oh, oh my goodness, you guys have no idea. Oh, dodging the sea urchins, the current blasting me all over the place. But we finally got our scorpion fish. Let's get the good lights on this guy and take a closer look. All right, guys, here we have the scorpion fish. What a cool looking thing. Just, just take a look at the little tassels in front of its head and its amazing camouflage. So this color pattern can actually change. This fish is like a chameleon. If it goes onto a new surface, a new coral or a rock, it can change its colors at whim. And in fact, now it's a lot less red. Wow, I actually saw it change color in front of my eyes. That's really cool. I'll try and get some B-roll of it. But this fish is one of the greatest night ambush predators. It emerges from its rocky dens, sits up looking just like a bit of coral, 
and then when a fish gets near, it strikes. But it's not its predatory habits that we're interested in today. We are interested in what happens to those predators if they take a bite of this guy. This is an extremely venomous fish. If you look at those spines on its back, that is the method of getting envenomated. And if you are unlucky enough to be walking out there like I was and didn't have the eyes to spot this thing, one step on that would lead to some excruciating, excruciating pain and some venom with some very bad side effects. First off, you'll feel nauseous, you'll start vomiting, incredible pain, headaches, body aches, but the thing you have to worry about most is getting a pulmonary edema where your lungs fill with fluid. This fish can severely, severely harm you, and there have been reports of deaths, again, with a lot of animals, could be anaphylactic shock or it could be truly a result of this fish's venom. Now another thing about this fish's venom is that it causes skin blisters. So the venom collects inside your skin and if you get that, again, I'm not a doctor, I've just done some research and this is what it says, that venom can cause necrosis if you leave it in those blisters. So normally I've heard you shouldn't pop a blister but in this case you should to relieve that venom. Now this fish, believe it or not, it can still envenomate you even 48 hours after its death. So even if you find a dead one on the beach, the last thing you should do is touch it because this fish is still hot, it's still active, and it is still dangerous even that long after its death. So what should you do if you are envenomated by this fish? Well, there is actually one very easy thing that you can do to soothe the pain and stop the symptoms, and that is getting water over 107 degrees and plunging, whether it was your hand or your foot, wherever you stepped on this fish, put that in that water, a lot of aquatic venom degrades in heat. You may have heard some myths about snake venom. Oh, you gotta burn the wound to denature the proteins in the venom. That's not true for snakes, but for fish and a lot of aquatic life, you really can cure a severe envenomation by just putting yourself in a nice relaxing hot tub, a pretty hot one, but you can really reverse some of those effects. All right, now it is the time I've really been waiting for to turn on the black light and see what this fish looks like. It's only been recently described that these fish glow under black light, and to my knowledge, no one has ever photographed this specific species under black light. So I'm going to set this guy down, I'm going to dim our filming light, and let's see what happens when I do this. It did nothing, like not even a hint of a glow. But luckily, all isn't lost. I mentioned earlier in the video that the first scorpion fish I saw, I couldn't catch because I didn't have a net with me. The reason I didn't have a net was because my hands were full with a GoPro and a black light. And sure enough, when I put it on the fish, it lit up like an EDM concert. I'll pause on a screenshot so you guys don't have to endure the shaky GoPro footage, but the colors were just amazing. Sure, the orange blotches were cool, but what I found fascinating is that every single one of its venomous spines, even the ones around its head and gills that I didn't see with the filming lights, glowed blue. Probably showing predators that can see UV light every reason not to mess with this fish. I have no idea why these colors didn't show up in the tank, but I have no doubt it's the scorpion fish's final way of trying to make this video as difficult as possible for me. All right, what an awesome time spent with the scorpion fish, one of the most venomous fish in the sea, one of the most fascinating, and of course the colors it has under UV light. That is truly something special. We're gonna get this guy back. I hope you all enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more venomous sea creatures.